The readings are rich with imagery from the story of Martha and Mary. How Mary chose contemplation and meditation at the foot of Jesus. Why Martha chose action and service. Sometimes we need to remember in the history of our church that it's a both and approach that we need contemplation, meditation, but also we need action and service. And the two saints that we celebrate today exemplify that. Bruno, priest, from the 11th century, founded the Carthusian Order of Monks, and their whole purpose was to pray, meditate, and contemplate the love of God. And his monks were very strict, so strict that they thought the Cistercians were weak. It's very hard to think Cistercians weak, but Bruno started another whole group of priests, the Carthusians, to be even stricter than the Cistercians. But their main point was to contemplate the Eucharist, to meditate and to be in love with the Eucharist in silence. In that way, he served the church. But he kept on being pulled out because he taught Pope Urban II. He was a great academician, a great knowledgeable before he became a monk, chancellor, and he was slated to be bishop. And he refused. He said, no, I want to contemplate. I want to meditate on God's love. So Bruno would be much like Mary, contemplation and meditation. The other saint we celebrate today is Mary Marie Rose de Rocha, a woman in the 1800s from a large family. Three brothers were priests, two sisters were nuns, and she wanted to be a woman religious, but her health was bad. So she helped her brother priest. She eventually founded the Sisters of the Holy, Most Holy Name of Jesus in Mary. And Mary Rose de Rocha started religious education from Canada and Quebec. And because of her life dedicated to the understanding of serving God's children through education, we see in Mar Mar Marie Rose de Rocha the understanding of Martha, being active, being of service, being in the world. And the glory of our Catholic faith, again, it's a both and. Yes, we need time for contemplation and meditation on God's holy word, but we also need to ask for the grace and the strength to be active and to be serving in the world. So this both and approach is very needed. At Immaculate Conception Parish in Malden, Medford, we've been blessed for many, many years with the Good Sisters, School Sisters of Notre Dame, SSND. And when they were founded way back when, their foundress, Teresa Gerhardinger, had the motto, all the works of God proceed slowly and in pain. A very German motto indeed. And for many years, 150 years, the school sisters of Notre Dame studied under that motto, all the works of God proceed slowly and in pain. Very tough. And then recently, one of the sisters looked up Teresa Gerhardinger's journal and looked up the original German and found the quote. And there it was. All the works of God proceed slowly and in pain. But you turn the page over and the rest of the quote said, and therefore the roots are deeper and the flower the lovelier. Sometimes we need to recognize in our spiritual journey, indeed, there are struggles. Indeed, there are challenges. Indeed, there are times that we might lose hope. But then our roots grow deeper and sturdier because God is with us. And because of that growth, because of that root and growing in Christ, our fruit, our flower is the lovelier. As we celebrate two great saints of our church today, Bruno Priest and Marie Rose de Rocha, let us think of contemplation and action, service and meditation, how both are needed in our spiritual journey, that we meditate on God's holy word, preparing for mass, we read the readings for Sunday, the daily readings, but we're also called to some activity, 
Even if it's just letter writing, maybe sending a note to someone, I'm praying for you. Even if it's just a simple letter and a stamp to send out to someone, I'm thinking of you at my mass. Prayer and action. As we live out our faith in the world, let us indeed see our roots are deeper and the flower the lovelier because of the graces we receive from God daily.